Today, we are continuing with adding more than four digits. We have the same success criteria and vocabulary as yesterday, but feel free to pause here and have a look at that. Okay, so here we have some counters in place value columns. And the first thing we want to figure out is what is the addition question? So what numbers do we have shown here? Well, it's a lot easier to have a look at this um, if you consider that there's an invisible line here. Okay, so this is a five. This would be four, this would be four, and that one is six. So I'm just going to do that over here. 5,446. And then we have three thousands, three hundreds, one unit, or sorry, one ten, and five units. So the actual question is 5,400, sorry, 5,446 added to 3,315. Okay? And if we do that in a column method, you'll see that, do we need to exchange? Yes, we will, because if you consider we've got here, we have 11 counters, okay? So we consider exchanging these 10 here for another one of these yellow ones, okay? So these 10 all transform into one more of these yellow ones. And you consider that when you're actually adding them up, if you have a look at what our ending numbers are. So we have a one in our units column. Then we end up with one extra yellow one, like we said. So we can add our extra yellow one here because we've exchanged these 10. So we should have six, and that's correct. Okay, because we've carried one over here. If we partition that, that becomes a six. Okay. And then four add three is seven, and five add three is eight. So that's what our column ends up being. Here we have another addition question. So what is the question? What are these numbers? You can go back to the previous slide, rewind the video, and have a look at how to figure this out. Does it affect the answer how you write it in a column method? No, as long as you are writing the numbers lined up from units backwards, or units forwards, rather, okay? So you have your units on the right-hand side and moving along the left in each column. If you can solve this one, can you tell me the other three facts around the question? So this here plus this equals something, okay? And the idea is you should be able to tell me if this plus this is this number, then this number plus this number is also this number, and what are the other fact family items in that question? Here are your fluency for today. You can give those a try. Have a look at the example on the right-hand side of number six to figure that one out. And there you have the reasoning and problem solving for today. Good luck.